Hello, welcome and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm doing a speed paint of Mikey and Creature from Glam and Gore. Today's video was supposed to be a speed paint of this drawing of um, Christine and Menchie from Simply Now Logical, but the app glitched and the footage got deleted, so, I'm do so I drew up a whole nother picture. And I'm going to show you the process of this instead. I actually don't mind because this turned out pretty well. Not great. The face turned out looking not good, but you'll see that later. I think Creature looked good though. So the first step of any of my digital paintings is to do a very rough sketch. This is just to get the proportions and shape right. And then I block in all the colours, picking them directly from the image. So I'm just doing Creature on a separate layer. I'm blocking in all his colours that I picked from the image. And now I'm putting in a little bit more detail. Not a lot of detail yet, but um, just more colours, more blocking in. In case you don't know already, Mikey is a makeup artist and her channel is called Glam and Gore. She does uh, glam makeup as well as SFX. I don't really watch a lot of makeup channels because I'm not really interested in that stuff, but I just love her personality and I like the SFX side of things. I think it's really cool. Creature is one of two dogs that she has. Um, he's an Alaskan Klikai, same with her other dog Ripley. I was going to draw her with Ripley, but uh, this was, I really liked this photo of her with Creature, so I decided to do this one instead. When I'm blocking in colours, I sometimes adjust them a little bit. Like for example, I made the blue of the eyes a bit brighter, a bit more blue. Um, it just helps to, uh, just makes it look better in my opinion. I'm not great at like photorealism so sometimes if I use the exact same colours it just looks weird so I do darken or lighten or brighten some of them but I keep them mostly just the same and now I'm starting to blend this is the third step a uh, sketch blocking in colours blending and then the last step is adding detail so I'm just blending together all of um, Creature's colours. I'm trying to do it in a way so that he looks um, furry and fluffy. I don't know if I really accomplished that, but I made him look more furry later on when I add the detail. Uh, yeah. I find animals a lot easier to draw, especially realistically, uh, than people, than humans. Um, I don't know why, maybe it's because they don't have as much like expression and um, I don't know, but I'm not good at likenesses and I'm not good at um, capturing like expressions and making someone look like who they're supposed to be, so I think Creature turned out well, but Mikey was a lot more difficult to do, um, this drawing was a lot more difficult than the one I did of um, Christine and Menchie, um, but that's okay. I'm kind of tempted to make these three drawings a set and do another YouTuber, but I'm not really sure who to do. Um, I considered Mariah Elizabeth with her and Opie, but I don't think that really goes with um, the style of like videos that Mikey and Christine make. And I know I considered doing Sophia Nygaard because I watch her sometimes, but I'm not like a huge fan of her. So yeah, I don't know. Leave your suggestions if you want to. <laughs> Creature's back and like bum was the hardest part of him and his paws. They were a bit confusing too. But um, his back because it was just such a big area, you know. And now I'm working on Mikey. I accidentally didn't record me doing her hands, so sorry that you missed that. Uh, her jacket is very... Um, detail it's not like super detailed or anything but it was quite difficult to get all of the shapes right um I'm not really sure what her jacket padded in it's got like pleats in it kind of I'm not sure but it looks cool but it was quite difficult to draw um I think it did turn out okay though I'm doing Mikey on a layer below creature um just for the blocking in and blending stage I merged them together 
when I start adding details to the image. And now I'm just blending the jacket. Um, this bit was a little difficult. Again, the jacket was quite confusing. Um, I'm trying, and again, creature's paw that's like in the fold of her elbow was a bit confusing and difficult, but that's okay. Uh, I added her hand at the back, and now I'm putting in her neck, and soon I'll add her face, which is um turns out a little bit scary at first. Still a bit scary at the end, but better. Um, yeah, so I'm putting that in now, just blocking in the colours, the highlights and shadows. You know the drill, same thing we did with Creature, except this time it's a face, so it's a bit more difficult. Um, yeah. I've been watching um, Glam and Gore for years now. I think I originally discovered her channel back when I was in like year 7 and 8 I used to rock, watch those terrible top 10 videos I don't know why but oh they're so annoying but I liked them for whatever reason and one of the videos was a top 10 scariest clown makeup and she had two of the spots on that list so uh yeah I thought that the makeup looked cool so I checked out her channel and I really liked it so I guess one good thing came out of those videos <laughs> Um, <laughs> but, um, in all honesty though, her videos are really nice, they're really funny, good to relax to, and obviously I don't know her personally, so I can't say for sure, but she seems just like a really, uh, intelligent and just a really cool person. Oh, so I'm doing the mouth now, um, this... I think this might have contributed to the creepy factor, uh, teeth and the insides of mouth, lips I'm decent with, not great but decent, but mouth is just like, oh, she looks like the body joker, I don't know, I don't know, I tried to copy the image but it just looked creepy, and the eyes as well I think were creepy, creepy factor too, but it's okay, I don't normally draw characters with very like heavy makeup, um, they normally don't really have makeup, so I'm not the best at drawing that, but I just tried to copy the image. It doesn't look terrible, it doesn't look great either, but it doesn't look terrible, I don't think. I think it's just the position and shape of the eyes that's the problem that make it look creepy. Or it might be the nose, because I didn't like make their nose look scrunched up. I'm okay at drawing noses, but I'm not good at like adding expression to the nose, like scrunching it up or whatever. I'm not good at expressions. I don't know how many times I've said that, but that's something I really need to work on. Um, yeah, so I added some brighter highlights than the actually are in the image because I just thought it looked weird. Her eyes looked like brown. <laughs> um, and I think there were those bright highlights in the image, but I couldn't pick it because the image wasn't high quality enough, so I couldn't get the, like, very bright little highlights because they're just little pixels. Um, so yeah, blending that all out now. I think I might have over, over blended the face as well and made it look too, like, smooth and robotic. I think I had that problem with Christine's one too. Um, <laughs> a lot of digital portraits I see uh, have that problem I feel like where they look they're over blended and over smoothed and they're looking like that uncanny zone where it's like it's kind of a person but it's really smooth and weird looking I don't know I think I definitely fell into that on this drawing and like she just looks like it looks like there was a a wax figure of her and then somebody held it up to a candle and melted it a little bit, but not very much, just a little bit, so it looks a little off. I'd like to say that it looks better than this in the final version, but <laughs> yeah. At this point, I'm just praying that the hair makes it look better, makes it look less scary, but oh, I'm really proud of how that strand came out. That one strand of hair I think is good, <laughs> but... I think the hair helped, because at least now she doesn't look bald, but um, <laughs> it didn't help much. She still looks creepy. I think I did fix her later though, so 
look forward to that. <laughs> Hair is quite difficult for me, especially realistically. Um, in illustrations, it's not too bad because I just like add all the line art and then um, shade it as if it was anything else. But hair has always been difficult to, for me. Um, just the way it flows and it's just so complicated. Like there's just it's literally millions of tiny little strands and it's difficult. Oh, I fix the eyes a little bit here. I think they just look too wrinkly but also too smooth at the same time. I don't know what it is, but I don't know. You tell me. Let me. I. I yeah. <laughs> um, I still need to improve my digital painting skills. I haven't done that many paintings. I think I've done five now. Um. I've done some with references, most of them without though. So, <laughs> yeah, I just want to work on it and get better. So, I'm starting to add the detail now, adding some fur to Good Old Creature here. I started with the brush on like the tiniest it can be, adding like lots of the tiny details, but I don't think it really looks that good unless I did it to the entire image and I'm not patient enough for that like if I did it to the entire image it would probably much improve my drawings but I'm just too lazy <laughs> so a little bit later I give him a bit more chunky fur make it look a bit better and shading the teeth mm, teeth are not my strong suit as I said and whenever I shade them it always just looks like they're one big lump of clay it looks like somebody it looks like a retainer, kind of. Like, you know when people get those um, retainers or mouth guards for, like, hockey and stuff and they'll, like, stick it onto their front teeth and it will mould around it? It kind of looks like one of those whenever I try to, like, shade in teeth. I don't know, but <laughs> that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> um, at this point, I realised I hadn't shaded that backhand, so I did a quick little bit of shading on there. Still not very refined, but, you know. Adding some extra detail to the hair. Um, I kind of like how the top bit of the hair looked before I added the extra detail, but I think the like right, the right um, bottom bit of it improved, so that's all right. So I'm blending it out now. I'm trying to make her hair look fluffy and like like it's actual hair, like it actually has strands, um, but. I think I got that across somewhat and yeah now I'm going in with the more chunky looking fur um, creature it's less realistic more stylized but I actually really like the way it looked um I can't do photorealism so if I can't do photorealism I may as well make it stylized <laughs> so um the sort of style I feel like I'm going for with my digital paintings is like semi-realistic but like a bit chunky and a bit more um like painterly if it's not really painterly but you know <laughs> like whenever I do actual paintings like with acrylic paint I don't have the ability to make it smooth and realistic and like I wish I could do like those renaissance paintings that that's the goal eventually when I get like nice oil paints and stuff when I'll practice with my oil paints and that's the goal but <laughs> for now I'm not a good painter so I just use lots of different colors and I make it a bit chunky and I like that the way that looks too where it's all textured and uh, a bit chunky looking but yeah <laughs> um, so I'm adding a bit of line art to that picture I don't think it really needed it I mean it helped a little bit um, but I think it would look equally as good if I took away the line art. It just gives it a slightly different look. Oh, the mouth looks so creepy. I fixed it somewhat later, but it still looks creepy. Looks like, um, <laughs> like a comic book villain, like Joker-esque sort of villain with the big old smiling mouth. So I wish I could fix that, but 
I'm quite proud of um, Creature's face. I think I got across the um, his sort of like bored expression pretty well. At this point, I thought I was done, but I did end up going back later and fixing the face a little bit. Um, it still ends up looking pretty creepy, but it looks better than it does now, I think. And yeah, adding some highlights. And yeah, I thought I was done, but like an hour or two later, I added some little bits. Just fixed it a little bit, moved it around, and I think it does look okay in the end not great but okay so <laughs> yeah I hope you liked it I hope you liked seeing my digital painting process I wish I could have shown you it with a bit of a better painting but oh well um <laughs> I hope you like the end result I'm on the fence about whether I like it or not I don't know but that's how it turned out and I hope you enjoyed Give a like for a little creature here and um, come back and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye!